Hi, I'm Megan McKeefrey. I'm with the Alliance for American Manufacturing. I'm here today in Canton, North Carolina, speaking with a resident of the town, um, Miss Belinda Cable. Hi, Belinda. Hello, how are you? Great, thank you. How are you today? I'm fine. Great. Um, well, first of all, I want to thank you for taking the time to um, take some time out of your busy day and, and talk to me a little bit about the town and what the mill means to the community. Could you tell me how long you've lived here for? I've lived here 58 years. Wow. And where do you work? I work at Evergreen Packing, who used to be Champion International. Then we were Blue Ridge Paper. The employees bought the mill at, when we were Blue Ridge Paper. Yeah. That was an adventure. <laughs> and how long have you worked at the mill for? I've been at the mill 34 years. And um, what do you do at the mill? I am a roll wrapper. Uh, we process rolls of paper and ship them out to the customer. Great. So being here most of your life and uh, working here for several years, you've seen the changes in the community um, with the job market and the econ economy. Definitely seen changes. Um, the community, um, we had like maybe when I first went to work in the mill, there was probably 1,800 people. Mm -hmm. We're down to about 1,000 people from downsizing, job cuts. I've seen businesses in town come and mm -hmm. go. Uh, we have a little restaurant in town now who is, they so they mainly depend on the meal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you see that all over the country with yeah. local businesses that that depend on the mill. So uh, what does it mean to you to have a good paying manufacturing job? What does it mean to your family? Well, coming from a, being a single mom, it has provided me to help my son uh, give him things that I normally couldn't give him. Uh, I've helped family members who uh, divorce or whatever. I've helped them put food on their table with their children and help mm -hmm. their children. That's very nice of you. So it provides the job security to, to feel comfortable and happy knowing Definitely. that you can provide for your family and help others. Um, speaking of that, you were, we were talking earlier and you said that you help out in the community a lot. Could you tell me a little bit about some of the the volunteer work you do? Some of the volunteer work we've done, uh, I'm a Women of Steel member and we have helped with the soup kitchen which my church founded. Uh, we went from feeding six people to feeding 32 people on average. Uh, it's a shame that you know that people can't find the jobs to provide for food but we're glad we're there to do it for them and mm -hmm. help them any way we can. We also through Women of Steel had a yard sale and we donated all the money to REACH. Uh, these are women that have been battered, uh, beaten, and they have children, and we were able to help with them. Wow, you seems like you guys really provide a lot to the community. And we also uh, had, we went with Relay for Life, and we were able to raise about 800 and some dollars for Relay for Life. Wow. Wow, that's, that's great. That's really honorable, the work you guys do. And I think that's great. Uh, without your mill job, you wouldn't be able to, um, you know, provide these services for people, your volunteer work. I mean, it seems like you guys really are able to volunteer a lot in the community. Uh, it seems like this community goes one-on-one -on -one with the mill, you know. Definitely. And in your opinion, what do you see the mill... What did you see happening in this community if, if there were job cuts at the mill or even worse effects uh, of mill closure? What kind of effects? It would be devastating. It would be like a domino effect. It would hurt us and then go on down to other businesses and other uh, programs that we've been able to help with. It would, it would just be devastating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, just to wrap up the interview real quick, if you had the power to speak to those in charge in Washington, D.C., uh, in the trade case, is there anything you'd ask them to consider when making their decision? I would ask you to consider me and my family and my friends. Uh, I would hate to think the disaster that it would cause. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for taking the time. I'm going to get emotional.